Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I am going to be putting two beauty blenders or beauty sponges, I should say, to the test. So my original beauty blender is used and abused. This little guy right here has chunks missing out of it. It's cracking. I'm due for a new one. But I'm not too fond of spending $20 plus tax on a brand new beauty blender. Now, obviously, there are tons of alternatives to this. There's the Real Technique sponge. There's the Eco Tool sponge. There's Morphe sponges. There's Maybelline sponges. I think pretty much everyone has sponges. Um, this is definitely not a new technique or way of applying your makeup. This is something that's widely available. But to be honest, I have tried so many other, I should say cheaper versions of this, and I just don't like the way it performs. Nothing seems to do my makeup the same as my beauty blender. So I decided to take to Amazon. I have Amazon Prime, so there are obviously deals and shipping stuff, shipping deals for people who have Amazon Prime. Prime. So I went scrolling through and I just typed in, you know, makeup sponge and I saw a few and you know, you can kind of tell the ones that just aren't going to work, obviously by reviews, are they stiff, etc, etc. And I came across this one actually. So the sponge that I'm putting to the test against the Beauty Blender is one by Zenda Naturals. Here's what the sponge looks like. This one is a latex free beauty sponge. This is on Amazon for $7.49 at least that's how much it was when I bought it. Now I have not tried this or anything. The only thing I've done with this is I have cleaned it first. So obviously disclaimer, anytime you buy any kind of new brushes, sponges, anything that's going to go on your face, you definitely want to make sure that you are cleaning it first. Here's what the sponge looks like. Obviously this is as close to the same shape as a beauty blender that I have seen to any other dupe, I guess you would say sponges that are out there. This is when a beauty blender, this is the original when it's wet, this is the dupe or the dupe of it when it's dry. So let's go ahead and get it wet. I have a cup of water right here. So again, here is the beginning shape. Let's go ahead and get it damp. Now at first, when I first got this sponge and I cleaned it, the first thing I look for is how soft does it get? I am not a huge fan of sponges that are very firm. Although one advantage to that is they do tend to stamp the makeup into your skin. So it almost makes for a better application. But then I also find on the downside of that is that it also doesn't disperse product very well on the face. It can look kind of heavy and it eventually will eat up a ton of product. All right. Now, as you can see, this guy is pretty soft. So I am pretty excited about this. One thing I do want to say off the bat texture wise, it still isn't quite as soft as the Beauty Blender. This one almost feels like it's like memory foamish. It's kind of strange, but it, it does still feel soft enough. Like I feel like this would get the job done. So let's go ahead and try it out. Obviously you guys have seen Beauty Blenders before, but I'm still gonna do a half, half test. So obviously I have washed my face. I have some of the NYX Honey Do Me Up Face Primer Serum. Sorry, I keep playing with my shirt right now, but it keeps creeping up. Um, You guys know that is my favorite primer right now for foundation. I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation in the shade MW2. You guys know that this is one of my favorites right now. Let me tuck my hair behind my ears here. Again, I don't know why I'm wearing giant dangly earrings. I should probably take those out. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, the Zen to Natural sponge, again, like I said, is on Amazon. The packaging that it comes in right here, as you can see, has some instructions behind it, just telling you how to wet the sponge and everything before use, all that kind of good stuff. It is made in China, it says. However, it says designed in the USA. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get some of this foundation on my skin. I'm gonna say the right side, this side, or my right. I'm going to do with the new sponge. I'm really curious as to how this works. Like I said, I've never used it before. Using it with you guys on camera is my first time. So here we go. I just want to see if there's any difference in the way that it disperses product or that it applies product. So like I said, it does feel a little bit more firm. I don't see that it's eating up product anymore 
than a standard or the original beauty blender would. It is kind of strange. Like, look how it like rolls on the face. Like I said, it's not quite as squishy. It does get a little bit larger, like fatter than the Beauty Blender. As you can see, it's more of like even more of a teardrop shape. But so far on my skin, not really seeing a huge difference. Let's go ahead and try our try and layer product to see if that makes a difference at all and how it applies. I doubt it, but we'll see. All right, so there you have it. There's one half of my face done with the Zenda Naturals Beauty Sponge that is from Amazon. As you can see, there's not an excessive amount of product stuck to this. I don't see that it has grabbed any product in any specific place of the sponge. Again, it is soft. It's actually very soft. And to be honest, I'm not noticing anything strange with the application. So let's go ahead and do the other side with the Beauty Blender see if there really is a stark difference. All right, Old Faithful, here we go. All right, so the Beauty Blender is a lot more bouncy. It's a lot more soft. I don't get much more of that kind of bouncy kickback from the sponge when I'm putting it on my face. Cause of course, like I said, the Zenda Naturals one is a little bit more firm. And I feel like the material that this is made out of is even more bouncy. Again, this is still very soft. I don't want to take away from that or make it seem like it's not soft because it really is. Again, I am shocked. A lot of these types of sponges end up being so much more harder. They, they don't bounce as much. They're not as soft on the skin. Let me go ahead and do one more layer on the Beauty Blender side just for good measure. So let's go ahead and do the second part of this test. So let's go ahead and try to apply some concealer using the tip of each sponge. And then once I'm done doing that, I'm gonna hop off camera, finish up my makeup, and then we will do a final consensus on both sponges. So for concealer, I'm gonna be using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. This is in the shade Light Neutral. This is my favorite concealer right now. If you have dry skin, this concealer is for you. So let's go ahead and start with the Zenda Natural Sponge. Again, we still have that nice exact tip. And let's go ahead and blend out our concealer. That blended out nice and quickly. So I'm just gonna do right here with it. Down the nose. And then the chin. All right, and there's the product on it. Again, no more different than the Beauty Blender. Let's go ahead and do the other side. All right, so there you have it, you guys. This side is the Zenda Naturals, $7.49. This side is the Beauty Blender. I'm gonna go ahead and hop off camera quick, put on the rest of my makeup, and I will be right back. All right, you guys, I am back. I put on the rest of my makeup and I feel like I look a crazy person right now because I usually do not do eye looks like this. Like I have not done this intense of a wing or like smoky eye, whatever just happened here in so long. And I'm trying out a new lip product and the gloss on top is beautiful, but the lipstick underneath is so patchy. So excuse me if you think I look a crazy person right now, because I'm sure if you've watched any of my videos, you are definitely not used to seeing me with any kind of look that looks like this. But anyways, so let's talk about the sponges. So, you know, doing my makeup, I see no final difference between itch, the two of these. I think for $7.49 on Amazon, you can't lose. One thing I do like about this, I do like that it is just ever so slightly more firm than the Beauty Blender because I feel like it might hold up more and it 
isn't going to break down as quickly. Now, of course, this is a first impressions. I'm going to keep using this item and then in the description box below, I will let you guys know how this worked after about five days worth of use. So right now, first impressions, I don't see any difference in the way that my makeup applied. I don't feel that this sponge ate up any more product. In fact, by looking at it, I know this is black, obviously, but it looks like it might have eaten up less. I feel like the Beauty Blender actually ate more of my foundation versus where this one just looks very surface. So I will say that. Obviously, it performed the same. It blended the same. I did not feel any difference in that at all. So first impressions, if you just can't, you know, splurge and spend $20 plus tax on a regular Beauty Blender and you've tried all those other ones like the Real Techniques or the Eco Tools or whatever, whatever, and you're still wanting something that's even more comparable to this shape, then I would definitely say to check out the Zenda Naturals Beauty Sponge that is on Amazon. I will put a link for the product below as well. Leave me a comment down below. Have you guys tried any other sponges that look like the Beauty Blender are just as soft and work just as well? Let me know. I love trying new products. That's kind of the coolest thing is when people comment, they tell me something that they love so that I can then go ahead and purchase it and try it myself. If there's any other weird makeup tools or sponges or brushes that you would like to see me try, also let me know down below. I'm always, again, looking for new products to try out. So, so far I would say that the Zen Naturals Beauty Blender or Beauty Sponge for $7.49 is indeed a win. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. I appreciate my subscribers like none other and I love this little community that we're building here. Thank you guys so much for always supporting me. Thank you again for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!